Airline executives and travelers are calling for unruly passengers to be put on the no-fly list in the wake of nearly 6,000 reported incidents of disruptive or violent passengers on flights. National correspondent Meg Hilling looks at how the momentum for the list is growing. Different day, different flight, same problems, unruly passengers. The latest story, a flight from L.A. to D.C. was diverted Sunday after a passenger tried to get into the cockpit and open the door of the plane mid-flight. A flight attendant reportedly had it the man in the head with a coffee pot several times before other passengers were able to help restrain him. Mid-flight fiascos like this have become increasingly common and have prompted calls for unruly passengers to be put on no-fly lists. On Friday, the Washington Post, in an editorial, accused the Federal Aviation Administration of foot-dragging on creating a national no-fly list for disorderly passengers. According to the FAA, there were reportedly 6,000 unruly passenger incidents in 2021. More than 4,000 were mask-related, but only 350 saw enforcement actions initiated. In January 2021, the FAA administrator enacted a new zero-tolerance policy for unruly and dangerous behavior, raising fines up to $37,000 and putting out a series of public service announcements. The ACLU argues that the creation of a no-fly list for unruly passengers would be a civil liberties nightmare. It questions whether or not such a list could be maintained fairly. But the CEO of Delta Airlines recently wrote in a letter to the Justice Department that an FBI no-fly list would help prevent incidents, which he said had increased 100% since 2019 for his airline. Meg Helling, Newsy.